this video I'll do an overview of PDF Element version 7. PDF Element version 7 is one of the products from Wondershare. It is an all-in-one smart PDF editor which offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign PDF documents. And it is compatible in every device, whether it is Windows, Macs, or mobile devices. To get started with PDF Element, you can simply go to pdf.wondershare.com. And then from here, you can click on Try PDF Element or you can directly buy it from here as well. Uh, the nice thing about the PDF element that I found is that it's a small, not bloated program, but yet powerful. So to download it, you just click right here. Now at this point, notice that the file, it's gonna be pretty small. So if we go here under show in folder, uh, notice it's only less than a megabyte file. Uh, of course, when you set it up, it's going to download additional files that it needs as well, but it's nowhere close to other competitor products out there for PDF editing. And I installed this already. So once it is downloaded and you install it, then you'll open it here by the icon on the desktop, Wondershare PDF Element, or you can uh, go ahead and find it under the list of your programs here as well. So we launch it. And in this case, I have this licensed already. If you didn't license it yet or while you're trying it and you want to license it, there will be a button right here to buy it now on the top. So on the left hand side here, you have the recent documents that you have been working on. Here on the right, you have uh, these uh, various functions such as create a PDF where you're basically taking a document from Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, or images and what, and you're creating a PDF. You can also do batch processing. On multiple documents, you're converting them into PDF in bulk. And then here it is to convert a PDF to an editable uh, Word document. And another function here is to combine PDF files. So you have one or two or more files in PDF and you want to make them one large document, uh, you use this function. Then also this program has the functionality where you can download various templates as well from PDF. One of the nice things that I mentioned earlier as well about this program is that it's very simple, but yet powerful. So if you look at the functionality here on the home tab, we have the core functions of it, very basic, but yet the most important uh, components there. So it's not bloated, that's functionality. Then we go under view here, you can change the various views and the converting the documents, you're converting them into OCR or optimizing the document or sending it into Word and PowerPoint and other programs. And I'll cover some of those features in a moment and then edit and modify the text and the colors and all that type of stuff from an actual PDF document. You can make comments on the document and also utilize forms. And this is actually a pretty cool feature that I found very helpful where it's gonna detect the form and then create uh, the boxes or those um, form fields for us automatically. And obviously you can uh, protect the document, whether you want to encrypt it or save it as a password. Finally, you can even uh, sign it digitally as well. So let's say I have here a couple documents that I created in Word for the sake of testing this. So, so let's assume this is a document with a bunch of text and charts and whatever else here. So let's say I have also a business report. And then finally, let's say I have a form. So the form, it can be a basic form that you create in Microsoft Word manually, or you could have a more fancier form. Let's say that for any of these documents, I want to create a PDF a version of it. So we go here under create PDF after I open the program. And then uh, let's say I want to open this document one, open it. So I'll go ahead and save this. So that'll be the document one, and it'll be the PDF version of it. So that's creating a, a PDF. Uh, you can also do this with a fancier document, which was that business report. Now this is converted into PDF, pretty much how it was in Microsoft Word. Now the batch processing, this is to create multiple PDFs to convert them 
all at the same time. We have here a bunch of documents. So I'll go and pick my documents. So let's say I want the report, document one, form one, and donations. Those are four Word documents. As you can see, I click on open, and then it's going to output them or put them into um, the same folder where they are originally, or you can create a new folder if you prefer. Now you click here on start, and you could customize more options here as well on the left, but uh, that's for your own exploration. And notice it says successful, four out of four. And now that they are finished, you click on finished. And notice we have the four documents that were already created. And I'll come back to the convert PDF option. But let's say I want to combine those four documents into one large document. You click here on combine PDF. You can either drag and drop those or you can simply select your documents. And of course, in this case, we need to pick the PDF versions of those documents in order to combine them. So they already have to be first in PDF. Now notice you can pick what pages you want from each document. And also you can create a new catalog page from bookmarks. So basically the top of the merged document, you'll have kind of a table of contents or an index for those combined documents. It's going to output it under the desktop and then uh, under PDF element seven and combine, but we can change that to put it under documents. And then we'll just click on okay there. And then I'll press next. Now notice it has created that index by using the markers from the documents. And that was one of the settings that I chose earlier. But notice it has uh, combined both my paper stuff, the MLA stuff here, and then the forms that I had, the other documents that I had all in one. One of the cool features of this um, application is that you can actually go and edit a PDF document in a PDF element directly, or you can send and convert the document, the PDF version of it to Word or another application. This comes in handy if you just have the PDF version of a document, but you don't have the original Word version and you're kind of going backwards. So let's say I wanted to open here my one of my files that I worked on earlier. I open it. So again, this is just the PDF version of it. So now from here, I can click on edit. Delete text here. And notice I'm able to modify the formatting and the document directly from within PDF change colors and all kinds of other stuff here as well, or delete components if I want it. Let's say I don't want this on the left. You can modify your, you get the idea at this point. Basically you can hyperlink, you can create watermarks, change headers and footers and all kinds of other stuff here. Once you're done with this, you can simply press save and it's gonna save those changes. Another functionality that you can uh, comment on this document, by simply adding notes or call outs or text boxes or highlighted areas and things of that nature. The other cool stuff that you can do with this is if you go here under convert, notice that you have the option for OCR and you can send the document to Word and other applications. So let's say I wanted to kind of um, convert this PDF document into OCR, convert this into text. So if you click here on OCR, now it's going to prompt you, uh, is your goal to make it searchable or is it to make it editable so that you can modify it and what? And I'm gonna press okay. It's gonna take a, a couple moments here. And now this is uh, the version of it that has been converted into OCR. Notice that it's, it's uh, very accurate in how it uh, detected both the layout of the document and also the text for it. To send this report to Microsoft Word, to edit it and modify it in Word. We go here under Convert and then to Word. Notice it's gonna put it in Word format. And then press Finish. At this point, I'll go and locate the document and notice it was business report to Word and I'll open it up in Word. Even though this is a fairly complex formatting, notice it 
it brought it over just like it was in the original document and from here I can modify this and change it to whatever I prefer and then save it. The other cool thing that uh, you can do with this application is that you can actually utilize it to create forms. So let's say that uh, one of my documents here is uh, this one, donations. What I had originally in Word, if I go back here, this was my donations form that I had from Word. And notice it doesn't have any fields. Earlier, I also converted this using the bulk option to converting it into PDF. Notice it doesn't have any clickable fields to be filled out. With this application, you can open an existing PDF document that has a bunch of fields in it, like this, and then you can go here under Form, and you can choose Form Recognition. Click on Form Recognition, and notice it will detect all of these various forms automatically. Now, of course, I didn't have something here, an actual fillable form here, so those that don't pertain to it, just uh, simply clean it up a little bit, delete that, and then the rest can leave them the same or you can update the description if you'd prefer. Now at this point, let's assume that I'm all done. Notice I didn't have to draw the boxes here and, and uh, align them properly or any of that type of stuff. It did it all automatically. Now let's say I'm going to save this and uh, at this point I chose to save it to the same file name. If I wanted a new file name, I'd just choose save as and give it a different name here. So let's call this form. Once the form has been created, notice it's in my file manager, go ahead and double click on it. And this is just opening it here with my browser. I guess this is the Microsoft Edge browser. Notice the form I can type in here. And I'm just pressing tab to move between each field. So with one click, pretty much you can create a form. And then finally, as I finish this overview, here, if you go under Protect, I could assign a password and encrypt this file with a password. Simply click on this icon, choose to require a password for this and put it right here. Or you can specify permissions as well if necessary. And notice there is a variety of encryption that you can apply. Or you can set a password for this document and I could sign using a digital signature. So in this case, I could either sign a document digitally or I can place my signature in a, a signature field. Click here on sign document. First, we need to draw a box where the signature will appear. So I click OK here. And at this point, it's prompting me that I need, this is where my signature is going to appear in this box. I'm just dragging it. I created the signature earlier. If I wanted to use this signature, uh, I'd have to enter my password. If you don't have this signature, you'd have to click a new ID here first, and then you can create one from an existing file, or you can create a brand new one, and you just go next here, and you could just create one using a digital certificate or one from Windows certificate. It's just a matter of clicking next, 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 basically. So in my case, I have one that I already created earlier, and uh, then the appearance is gonna show up like this, but it's gonna record a bunch of other information as part of that uh, signature. So I click on sign in. So again, this is a digital signature. It requires my password. And now it's gonna save this with a signature. And notice it's going to have the form signed with the new file name. Press saved. And now here's my document that has been signed. And finally, there are templates uh, that you can download and utilize as well. And that's basically just to navigate them on your own if you would prefer to do that. In conclusion, uh, this is a pretty cool application. So instead of spending hundreds of dollars, one could consider this and it's lightweight in your computer. It is very powerful as you uh, see for most business functions and applications. Give it a try and uh, there is information below in the description area as to how you can download it and even get a discount for it through the vendor.